Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Tunaweza kusalimiana tu. Wow. What a congregation. Amen. I do not think there is in our city a larger congregation of worshipers. Amen. Of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hey. 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 So I want to thank our brother Peter Monyuru his wonderful wife and the congregation of JTM Amen. for allowing us to come and worship with you today. I wasn't going to say anything because I've been spiritually fed Amen. and I leave this place ready to pursue them. Oh, yes. Ready to pursue them. Amen. Because the mandate to pursue has been ably presented. And I want to tell Kenyans, and then I'll probably sit down, that please stand still and see the salvation of God. Yeah. I would add a political note that as far as I'm concerned, the lawyer that is in me tells me, even the senior counsel perhaps, that this general election is not over. Because what is happening in Mombasa, in Kakamega, and the four constituencies in West Pokot and Kitui, clearly tells Kenyans, and it has never happened before. I've actually run for election many times in our country. I've never seen a situation where the, the body charge the responsibility of conducting a general election ends up shortchanging the whole country. So, as far as I'm concerned, these matters may be canvassed elsewhere in the Supreme Court. It is arguable that no general election has taken place. Think about it. Think about it. Because what will happen in uh, Kachaliba and other places in Kakamega and Mombasa can only be perhaps, there is never, the Constitution never anticipated that there would be a by-election situation. This is a general election process and it has to be concluded. I think it is elections law which also states the only time you can postpone election in Mombasa, Kakamega, and in Kitui Ruro, for example, is if there is general emergency in the country. It was never envisaged that intimidation can stop the process. What intimidation will these wonderful people of Kitui Ruro be carrying out to intimidate the IEBC? Of course not. But uh, I apologize for that political statement. But it's an important statement in my view. Therefore, if you look at it that way, even the swearing in of Babu Awino as the MP elect for, uh, is it Mbakasi East? Cannot happen before they carry out elections in Mombasa, in Kakamega, and in the four electoral areas. So we're in for a long haul. But I'm here, ready to pursue them. God bless you.